Captain Francis Crozier is probably one of the better known Irish sailors of the 19th century. Uh, by 1845 he's recognised as probably one of the most experienced um, polar explorers and he's appointed a second in command to the Franklin expedition. It's seen as a highly scientific mission in terms of what it takes and what it brings with it. It's the force to try photography in the polar regions um, and very much the, the astronauts of their time. The summer of 1845 they leave, two ships, Erebus and Terra, and they are essentially never seen again. What we know from one documentary account that's left behind that they essentially get trapped in the ice and then after two or three years they run out of food and Crozier takes command, Franklin has since died and he starts trying to walk down towards Canada. Crozier, very much a household name uh, and still is kind of like a name in the history of exploration but largely forgotten about in Ireland. Mary Flynn was a servant living in Bordeaux in the middle of the 18th century and the only historical trace we have of her is a letter that she wrote to her sister back in Dublin, Katrine. And the letter is extraordinary for the way in which she tells us a very poignant story about walking in the street in Bordeaux and seeing three men who momentarily she mistakes for her brother and two friends of hers. She has this cathartic outpouring of emotion where she's crying at her homesickness. And what this letter shows us really is the extent of storytelling skills and of basic literacy skills that even somebody who is a domestic servant and a woman in the middle of the 18th century had. The very practiced, fluent hand that she has and she can tell a story really, really well.